want a mask that's a picture of a cute strawberry wearing the mask. Orangey peachy short, shorter, it's an orangey peachy shorter shade. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got an unboxing, a little mini review video for y'all on a new subscription service to me. I've never tried this one before, but they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try it out, share my thoughts with you guys, and I said, sure, I'd love to. This is not sponsored, but they did send this box to me. So this is by Asian Mall, E-S-I-A-N Mall, and they have a snack box, but they also have a beauty box. So this is the beauty box. And the beauty box retails for $25. So it's supposed to have different products in here, like different skincare and beauty things. So let me show you a little sneak peek in here. Now it looks a little gross because <laughs> the masks look a little gross because I have been trying those out. So I wanted to be able to give you some reviews on them. So I've tried all the things in here. So I will be able to give you my thoughts and opinions. So let's jump into it. Okay, if it looks like my lip color suddenly changed, it's because it did. <laughs> I realized I wasn't wearing the lip color that's in this box that I'm about to show you guys. So I usually like to wear this stuff so that you guys can actually like, see it on. So that's why my lip color just changed. Okay, so let's jump into what is in this box. So first off, there's this little pouch. I want to start with this because honestly, this is something that I'm like, eh, I'm not a big fan of this. Um, it's just not really my style. <laughs> but it, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure somebody would like it. This is um, a little bracelet here. It says, this special edition Asian Mall bracelet is only available to August Beauty Box subscribers. In honor of the release of Suicide Squad, it has a Harley Quinn design. So, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, this is like the theme, the little like Suicide Squad theme. So that's cool, that's fun. But um, yeah, I guess it's supposed to be kind of that theme. So it's a little like, I guess that's supposed to be her, but she doesn't look like that in the movie. So it's a little skull with like pigtails. Um, it sort of fits me, but I could probably like squeeze it to make it fit better. I don't know. I mean, Timothy's a big superhero fan and I guess super villain since they're the Suicide Squad. Um, so he may think this is kind of cute and think I should keep it, but um, it's just a little bit different. I opened it and I was like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah. This is the first thing that's in there. Next thing is something I already love because I already purchased it from Sephora, the exact same scent and everything. So I'm gonna show you the one that I already own. This is, it says the Cookies and Hand Cream Lotion moisturizes and softens dry cracked hands. It comes in three delicious scents. Even though it looks tasty, do not eat it. So there is strawberry, original, and mint. This is the mint and it just smells really, really yummy and it does smell like and look like you could eat it, but you don't want to do that according to the directions and common sense. <laughs> so I've used this a couple of times. It's really nice and moisturizing. It does have like, let me try to show you when I first rub it in. So these little, um, like these are, there are these little like bits in it that when you kind of start to rub it in, you can see it kind of like breaking apart and it looks like little gray it looks like you're smearing like uh, cookies and cream ice cream on your skin. <laughs> but it rubs in, it's really nice and moisturizing, it smells delicious, love the little like ice cream looking packaging, super cute, so this is something I definitely like in this box. Next is a face mask, which looks a little gross, but that's because I opened it and I did try this out. It says the SNP Face Art mask sheet softens and hydrates rough dull skin and evens out patchy skin by adding moisture it's lightweight soothing and smells great so let me find where it it said something about it. oh here we go aqua face mask enhances moisture retention to restore oil and water balance for dry skin i don't have dry skin so i was a little bit nervous trying this i'm kind of combo oily um some days normal but most of the time I'm kind of combination so I did try this out and I like this a lot. It does smell really good. It smells like, um, I was trying to think about it. It kind of like sunflowers. It reminds me the most of sunflowers, but not like, it smells nice. Like it's a light scent, so it's not super overpowering. It doesn't smell like super duper fragranced, but it does smell a little bit fragrancy, um, but it smells nice. So when I first put this on my skin, it did feel a little bit tingly and I thought, 
ooh, is my skin not liking this? Um, but then it calmed down after a little bit and my skin didn't look red after I took it off or anything. It just felt really hydrated and nice. I didn't see any like huge improvements in my skin, but it did feel very moisturized and um, the mask experience was nice, especially since it smelled yummy. Then there is another mask in here, which again, looks a little bit nasty and a little bit um, jacked up, <laughs> but that's because I tried it once again. Um, it says, uh, oh, I haven't been telling you the value of any of this stuff. So the, the mask was 250, the lotion was 1025, the um, bracelet was $15, this mask is $4 says the Strawberry Nose Pack is a three-step blackhead removing mask treatment that strips blocked pores and leaves them clean and smooth. Perfect for use in between facials. So I did use this last night, so it's three different steps. The first step, second step, third step. Um, first step is kind of like, this is how I'm kind of interpreting it. It seems like it's sort of a treatment to maybe like open your pores. Um, so it's kind of a little bit like slimy feeling and you just set it on your nose. And the, the negative about this is that it takes a long time. The first step is 15 to 20 minutes, the second step is 10 to 15 minutes, and the third step is five to 10 minutes. So you gotta have some time slotted out to do this treatment. <laughs> but um, the first step, you know, you leave it on. It seems like it maybe would be trying to open up your pores because the second step is kind of your traditional sort of a pore strip. If you've ever used one of those before, you put it on there um, on like wet skin and then you wait for it to kind of harden and dry and then you pull it off. And when I pulled it off, there were definitely some things happening on it. So it definitely did pull some things out of my pores, which I was really happy to see. Um, and then the third step is kind of like, it's very slimy. So that one kind of like, <laughs> I couldn't get it to stay on my nose, so I was doing it in the bathtub, so it actually like fell off into the tub, so I had to pick it back up, put it back on my nose, so it's super slimy, but I think it's kind of like a treatment to sort of like maybe seal back up your pores and maybe add some hydration or whatnot. So I did really like this. I felt like it worked. It did clear out my pores. Um, if you've got some time to the side and you kind of like that spa sort of experience, it's definitely that. You know, you feel like you're doing some good things for your skin for your nose specifically, um, and the packaging is just stinking cute. I mean, who doesn't want a mask that's a picture of a cute strawberry wearing the mask? That's stinking adorable. <laughs> I love it. And this is by Tony Moly. Lastly is this adorable little thing. It looks like a little bunny. This is also by Tony Moly. This is the Petite Bunny Gloss Bar, and it has little ears. Who doesn't want a lip product that looks like a bunny and has ears? That's adorable. This is a value of $9. It says the Petite Bunny Gloss Bar is a lip crayon that can be applied on its own or on top of a lipstick or lip stain. It is soft, creamy, and fruity. So I do have this on. I put it on so you guys could see it on. And it's just like a, it almost is like a tinted balm is kind of what it reminds me of. Um, it does have some color to it, but not a lot. Um, but it is very, it feels like kind of like a chapstick, like it's very hydrating, fruity, maybe a little bit. I mean, it's super subtle. Yeah, I got to practically like put that thing up in my nose to smell it. It's a little bit citrusy and fruity, but not, not super duper. So it's really hard to smell. And you guys know I have a I can smell anything. So it's very lightly scented. Um, but it's just kind of like a pretty orangey peachy short, shorter, it's an orangey peachy shorter shade, sort of a shade. <laughs> um, it does get on your teeth, so you have to be careful about that. But if you're looking for something hydrating with a little bit of color to it, it is really pretty and it's very hydrating feeling. So that's everything that comes in the box. So the total retail value of this box this month is $40.75 and it retails for 25. So you're definitely getting more um, for your money than what you're paying for. So that's really nice. I do like most everything in here except for the bracelet. I'm gonna have to kind of like, that's gonna have to grow on me. Um, but overall, I think it's a pretty good subscription service. I think if you like skincare, body care, um, if you just kind of like Asian beauty products, because that's the theme of what they send you, I think you would like this box. So I really enjoyed it. I think the masks are fun. Obviously love the um, 
the like ice cream body cream. That's my favorite thing from the box. So overall, I think it's a pretty good one. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. If you've tried the subscription service, let us know down below what you think about it. What are some of your favorite products that you have gotten? Tony Moly is definitely a brand I really like. So I like that that was included in this box. So I would love to know your thoughts. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.